I'm assuming a massive fifth wave. We have to prepare ourselves for a challenge that we have not yet faced in this form. Infection rates have been rising rapidly across Germany too. The easy spread of Omicron would send rates soaring even higher. As a result, the German government has now classified Denmark and other countries, including France and Norway, as high-risk areas. Travelers will have to quarantine for 10 days upon arrival, unless they have been vaccinated or recovered from a coronavirus infection. Well, for more, we can speak to health educator John Campbell. He joins us now from Carlisle in the UK. Hello to you. Welcome to DW. So we just mentioned Thank a you. short time ago that France is now banning most travels from the UK from entering the country. Do you feel this is the right move to slow the spread of the Omicron variant? It probably would have been if they'd done it at a much earlier stage. But at the moment, the Omicron cases in France are about 7 to 10 percent of the total cases. So it's already endemic in France and it's already spreading in France, really. So introducing a travel ban at this stage really doesn't make too much sense. You might keep out a few cases, but with so much domestic spread going on already, it doesn't actually make too, sense, too much sense. The things with travel bans is you can do a travel ban and it will buy you a bit of time because make no mistake, this Omicron variant is going everywhere. So a travel ban can give you a few days or even a week or two extra. But of course, that only is useful if you use that time very purposefully. So it depends what you do with the time that you buy with it. But in the particular case from France, it doesn't make too much sense because of the large amount of cases there already, I'm afraid. Now, can you explain to us um, how Omicron affects the unvaccinated compared to the impact on vaccinated people? Just how different is it? Well, it, it is very different. If you've had two doses of vaccine, you're going to get a certain amount of cover. Probably only about 30%, though, against symptomatic infection. But if you've had three doses, that goes up to over 70%. So it seems that this needs this third booster dose of vaccine. Now, people that have only had two doses of vaccine are still going to have fairly good levels of protection against severe illness, hospitalization, and we do hope death but they're more likely to get symptomatic infection. But if you've had three doses of vaccine, you've had the booster dose, much less likely to get symptomatic infection. And also we believe this extra T-cell mediated protection against severe illness and hospitalization. Now you mentioned, you know, this third jab. I know many governments are pushing citizens to get that booster, but you know, I'm sure mm -hmm. a lot of people are wondering just how many more boosters are we going to need? I mean, are we looking at the necessity of getting a new jab every few months with every new coronavirus variant? Well, I certainly do hope not, but I just noticed in the news today that Germany has actually ordered 80 million doses of Omicron-specific vaccine. Let's hope that they're not needed, but it's ordered them just in case they are going to be needed. My big hope is because Omicron is spreading so quickly, I think basically everyone in Europe is going to be exposed to Omicron in the next few weeks. There might be a few remote people that don't, but everyone's going to be exposed to it. And we're hoping that most people are going to be protected against severe illness because of the large level of vaccination in the community and because of the immunity that we have from people that have already had the infection, that this is going to protect against severe disease. So we're really hopeful that this is going to cause common cold type symptoms. Now, in London at the moment, the most common features that people are getting are runny nose, headache, fatigue, sore throat and sneezing. It's common cold type features. But of course, every time someone has these features, that's going to give them a big boost to their mm. immune system. And it's going to protect them more against Omicron and hopefully against other variants as well. So I'm really hoping that this this wave could be a form of natural vaccination. We're also trying to stay hopeful. The health analyst, John Campbell, many thanks indeed for all your insights. Thank you, Mariana. Thank you. All right.